We did it. Malik Willis did it, man. I can't tell you how happy I am, man. Yeah, I know a lot of people going to be like, why are you so excited? You guys beat uh the Colts last week and you beat the Titans. Why such a big deal? You guys are over exaggerating. Da da da. Guys, do you understand? Do you did, like did y'all watch Malik Willis's tape when he was with Tennessee? Did you see how bad he was? But do you know how important this season is for us and how we have to win games that we really need to win, i.e. against bad teams? These games are big deals for us. They are they like they set the tone for when Jordan Love returns, which a lot of people were saying next week, which I am really excited about if that is true. If that is true, I hope it is. But if Jordan Love is returning in our first home game of the season, I pray. I, well, not I pray. I'm thankful for Malik Willis because he did exactly what we needed him to do. We just needed him to win these games, play smart, be a, be a, be a manager. That's it. Just manage the time, make the right play, the smart play. And allow our deep, give our defense some time for some rest, but move the ball down the field. Get it in the end zone if you can. If not, don't turn it over. Play smart. And Malik Willis did that. And the, the, like that's such a big deal because, and again, I'm not comparing the Titans' offense uh, and their coaching staff to ours. Like Matt Lafleur, our our coaching staff is one of the best, and I believe that Matt Lafleur will finally get his flowers. Because listen, a lot of people credit those great seasons since Matt Lafleur has been in Green Bay to Aaron Rodgers. Like, come on, you're that young, you're that immature. Like, you know, Aaron is running the show. He's the one making adjustments at the line. Da da da. But we're now, for the past couple of seasons, the, the, the end of last season and the beginning of this season, we're really getting a glimpse to just the, uh, he's in that Sean McVay, Kyle Shanahan, just the, the, again, just this young, this era of young, relatively young coaches that are just geniuses, you know what I mean? And I, I do believe that. Matt is in that conversation. I really, really do, and I believe this. This, uh, this, uh, Jesus. I just been saying his name. Why I can't say it? Willis, <laughs> Malik Willis. Gosh, I think this Malik Willis, uh, you know, stint that we've had for the past couple of weeks has shown that how he can slow up or 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 tighten his game plan up with the lesser talent. And then we'll see how everything opens back up when Jordan Love comes back. It's absolutely incredible, man. Give Matt LaFleur his flowers. But I also want to give our defense uh, their flowers because they were, they were playing a hell of a game. And they did play pretty damn good versus the Colts. Um, so, yeah, look. Let's watch it because uh, once again, I was at work. I work on weekends, guys. That's why. So if you ever notice that my uploads are slow on the weekends it's because I work and I'm usually tired when I get home and I want to watch some football, both college and NFL. So I, I'm sorry, but I didn't get to watch it, but I did see the, uh, some of the highlights. So let's watch most of the highlights here and see what happened, man. I'm so proud of these guys, man. Great decision. Jaden Reed continuing his. Again, Jaden Reed is here, man. And he's looking like the number one option. And as soon as I say that, there goes Christian Watson. So happy to see him. I mean, he was pretty much a non factor last week. Uh, but it, it was great to see him uh, make that play. Jaden Reed in motion. Malik Willis on the read option. Great decision. Drop the shoulder. Just a beautiful drive by Malik Willis. 
Beautiful. And of course, he's coming, well, not coming home, but he's playing against his old team. I'm sure he had a little bit of extra boost. Shout out to Malik, man. He played a phenomenal game. Again, and anybody who wants to discredit it, fine. I get it. It's not like he's out here throwing 400 yards and four touchdowns. But again, if you understand and you've seen footage of Malik, uh, Malik Willis, you understand that what he's done the past couple of weeks is actually very impressive. Very impressive. I know backup quarterbacks who can't do what Malik Willis has done the past couple of weeks. Or I would say I would trust to do what Malik Willis did. Uh, what Malik Willis has done the past couple of weeks. Yeah, now that was just a bad defensive drive. Um, Will Levis just kind of picked us apart that entire drive. Um, that that wasn't good at all. Literally just marched down the field on us. So. <laughs> yo, NFL. Stop it, yo. No, y'all did not include a commercial in the highlight video. Y'all got to stop, bro. <laughs> Wait. Time out. Did they put a commercial in the highlight video? Did I just see that? Time out, bro. Touchdowns to start this ball game. And of course, it's a FanDuel commercial. <laughs> that is hilarious. NFL, you guys are terrible, man. I swear. I swear y'all are, man. That's funny. Uh, great pocket presence. Realizes nothing is open. I mean, come on, man. That's just... That's beautiful. Just look at it. Look at him go. Give Malik his flowers, man. Give him his flowers. I don't care. Great decision on the read option again. Great block by Kraft. Oh, man. Look at Kraft set the edge right there. Beautiful. Ah. Jaden dropped it. We would love, we would have loved to get in the end zone there, but get the points. What you Jair haters gonna say now? Now I get it. First couple of weeks didn't look great. Jair did not look great the first couple of weeks. It's the first couple of weeks, and it's Jair fucking Alexander. Stop playing, man. It's Jair Alexander. Put some respect on that man, man. It's Jair Alexander. You know how much we paid this man? Do you know why we paid him? Well, it's not because of that. Jair don't usually get pick sixes. But it's because he shut shit down. Put some respect on Jair, man. I swear to Jair and McKinney duo is looking incredible. It's looking incredible. My boy Keshawn Nixon. And Keshawn really gonna have to he really gonna have to make his bones uh here on the uh on the defensive side because as we all see this new uh kickoff rule it's it's like we thought the kickoff was like bad has been bad like this new rule it's literally just touchbacks like there's no there are literally no returns on kick returns so Keyshawn gonna have to really make his bones on the defensive side now because it's literally it's, there's no room for, for him to make plays in uh, special teams at least not as much anymore Ugh. look at my boy Van Ness 
<laughs> it's good to see him, man. We we look. What pick did we have for him? He was a high draft pick, so good to see him. Um, you know, starting to make some plays. There go my boy Romeo Dobbs. Great conversion by Malik. Uh, Jaden on a sweep. That boy, <laughs> boy. Oh man, third and eighteen. Oh no. Oh my goodness, Malik converted it. Oh man. That's just come on, man. Put some respect on Malik, man. Not some respect, respect. Put some respect on that man. Now I don't know what the hell that was. I would much prefer you throw that away, Malik. That kind of scared me a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. That kind of scared me. We'll hear about the Green Bay side of things in a moment, but Levis on first down. Nice touch on the pass to Nick. Everybody else. The play action. Jair wasn't able to recover. Longest third down of the day for the Titans. Checks it short to Pollard. Pollard makes a man miss, and he's close, but not quite to the yardage. Oh, uh, they went for it. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. Get him. Get him, Quay. Yeah. Yeah, Quay. Yeah. That's big boy shit right there. Damn, what? I saw that cut on uh, uh, Will. Oh, no. Get up, Jaden. I like that play. I like the screen. Go Wilson. That boy Wilson is him. That boy is him. That boy Wilson is him. I ain't gonna lie, man. I I'll say it once. I'll continue to say it. I love Aaron Jones. I miss Aaron Jones, but I'm not mad. If there's any aspect of our team that is not lacking, it's our it's our running backs, man. When Josh Jacobs hold on to the ball, um, our running backs are special. All of them. Mm. That's a dot. Just drop that right in the middle of the zone. Damn. It's sad. You almost forget DeAndre Hopkins is in the lead. This team is so bad, bro. When he was once considered a top three wide receiver, some people said he was the best. And as we can see, he still has those capabilities as he just babied Eric Stokes. But, you know, again, man, he's on, he's on the Tennessee Titans, man. That's sad. Because DeAndre, I think, still got a lot in the tank, but he's on the Tennessee Titans, man. But nah, Eric, Eric just got babied right there. I mean, DeAndre just, just babied him right there. But we kind of did what well, I guess that would be considered a sweep, and um, we just couldn't get anything out of it. Great defense. Now they picking us apart. Now they picking us apart. Well, DeAndre Hopkins certainly helping him get there in this third quarter. We cannot stop the play action, apparently. I don't care what side he goes on. DeAndre just couldn't be stopped in this play action. Hey, yo, who did DeAndre just wink at? Oh, now you winking at us? Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, get it, Luca. Yeah, you want to wink at us? What, DeAndre? You better chill out, boy. You losing by like? Come on now, don't start acting crazy. And they're not gonna snap it. Packers delay game. Take the delay of game. Five yard penalty. It's fourth down. Was he trying to get him off sides right there? What, what the hell was that? Oh, there we go, defense. 
We had a rough third quarter, but it looked like we picked it back up in the fourth. We couldn't stop the play action and the connect. Oh boy, if he oh, hey, and not for nothing, that was a great decision by Malik. If uh, if Wicks could find the ball, he puts it on the outside shoulder. He would have been able to catch it if he just put if he just looked to the left, found the ball, tracked it. It would it would have been. It would have been a tough play, but it was actually a great decision because it's one on one. That that was actually a damn good throw and a damn good decision. If uh, Dontavian could have just tracked it, that was actually a great decision. That was actually a great decision. But yeah, they couldn't pick up our blitz. Once we once we brought the house, it looked like once we started bringing the house, which was a great decision, they didn't have no answers for us. There you go, Wilson. Ooh, shit. Hey, yo, let me tell y'all something. I feel like it's, and it's becoming too much of a thing. And I'm noticing even on Madden and college football, everybody's trying to get these big highlight plays and hurdles and stuff like that. Y'all got to stop, bro. You have to. Y'all are going to get yourselves killed. I need y'all to stop hurdling. Okay? I understand there have been some great highlights the past few years off of hurdles. But got defenses have caught on to it. And they're waiting for it now. And they're punishing you guys. I really need y'all to chill out on these hurdles. Get back to stiff arms, get back to dropping the shoulder, or hell, a spin move. But these hurdles, leaving yourself vulnerable, jumping in the air. And we saw it with Christian Watson. He just so happened to be doing it out of bounds. But technically, he got caught too. Y'all got to chill on these hurdles, bro. Y'all have to. You got Antonio Brown a few years kicking people in the chest. These hurdles, they're cool. But they're going to get y'all hurt, man. Chill out. Let's go. Jacobs, up Great cut by Josh Jacobs. I know I just went on a rant right there. Third down. Swing to ah. Too far. And it yeah, I mean, chill out, Jaden. Chill out. It, it was a bad throw. Um, but Nobody's chill out. Right it ain't that deep. The down the field with that huge arm. Third and 17. Levis. Great protection. Ayo, Xavier McKinney. He got three picks in three weeks, bro. Ayo, hey, not for nothing. For Brooks, nothing there. I ain't gonna lie. My next parlay, I think I'm putting that on. I'm putting that. I'm putting that up. That Xavier McKinney get a pick. He three for three, bro. Who's to say he won't go four for four? And I think we got the Falcons. I think we got Kirk Cousins. I can see Kirk giving Xavier uh, an, um, an interception. Oh, my gosh. Keyshawn, he got you. Keyshawn, he got you. Oh, my goodness. He broke you down, shorty. But yeah, man, this was this was a good game, man. Good game, good decision, good performances. Uh, really proud of our defense, man. Our defense, you know, the thing about our defense the past few years, we've never been terrible, but our defense they just gave up too many critical plays and critical moments, and you know we had to make that co coordinator change because it just wasn't gonna work. It just wasn't going to work. You know, all of it, like, it was so many plays when, like, it would be third and long. And we're literally giving teams the first down by playing back so far. And, like, playing these stupid zones and not going to get the quarterback. Like, it was just getting so annoying. And it was, like, a year-to-year -year basis. Um, so, I'm just, I'm happy with how our defense is looking. Again, that third quarter was rough. They was eating us, you know, they was tearing us apart on the play action, and DeAndre Hopkins just couldn't be stopped. Uh, 
but it seemed like for the rest of the game, first and second, and then fourth quarter, we 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 kind of picked things up again. But um, I'm I'm loving Xavier McKinney. Jair has finally got his groove again. Anybody who doubted Jair Alexander, bro, chill. It's week three. Like just ch- just chill out. It's like people are so annoying. Just chill. I get it. We paid him a lot of money, and he's supposed to be the leader of this team. I get it. But chill, all right? Just chill out. Jair is back, man. Jair is back. Xavier McKinney is here. Our interception machine. Again, it's something about the number 29. I don't know what it is. When Rasul just, you know, first stepped on the scene, he was an interception machine. Now it's Xavier McKinney, man. I, I don't know what it is about that number in Green Bay. But if you wear 29, you're going to get picks. Um, as for Malik Willis, man, he did it again. Just managed the game, made smart decisions, ran the ball when necessary. Uh, great play calls, you know, by Matt LaFleur. And, and, and just it was just a strategic, very well-played win. You know, definitely left some points out there, but that's fine. You know, it's Malik Willis. We're not expecting perfection. We just want to win these games safely, try to get everybody, keep everybody healthy. I heard that Robert Kraft actually got hurt. I think it was shoulder, if I'm not mistaken, and he didn't return, which sucks. But the goal when you have backup players, especially uh, backup quarterbacks, Win the game, manage, you know, just play smart, make smart decisions, manage the time, keep everybody healthy. Like, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's all we need Malik to do, and he did it. And now, if it is true that Jordan is returning this week, Malik did his job, man. And I am proud to have him as our backup quarterback. I am proud, and I'm happy. And I'm thankful for him. Because, again, everybody's saying, yo, you beat the Colts and you beat the Titans. Why is it so? Like, y'all, y'all, again, it's early in the season. And if any team in the league has shown you that it's not about how you start, it's how you finish, it's the Green Bay Packers, all right? That, like, we always get the last laugh. Well, Not the Super Bowl last laugh, but when people count us out early in the season, we look bad, we lose in games. All we ever do is fix it by the end of the season, make a decent playoff run, and then get kicked out. But that's how, that's, you know, Green Bay, we're going to win the regular season. We're going to win some games, all right? It's just a matter of when. And uh, it's better to win start winning games earlier in the season and not put that pressure on yourself to win every game towards the end, which is, you know, what we did last year. Um, so bottom line is it's very important that we win these early games. It really, really is. Again, against bad teams, so what? It's the NFL. It's the regular season. It's not preseason. These games count. I don't care who they're against. It, now, if we lost this game, the trajectory – and the morale of this season will look completely different. And everybody will say, well, the Green Bay Packers, da, 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 because they lost early in the season. Win the games that you need to win. If they're in front of us, that's who's in front of us. So what? I don't care that it was against the Titans. Malik Willis did his job, and I'm proud of him. I'm very proud of him. So anybody trying to discredit him, go kick rocks, man. Go kick rocks. Anyway, great win by the Packers. Competition stiffens up a little bit next week. Hopefully, Jordan Love is back. If not, we're going to continue to plan with Malik. And we just need Malik to keep doing what he's doing. And we need our defense to tighten up, but keep doing what they're doing. Y'all let me know how y'all felt about this game. Let me know how y'all felt about the Packers and the Titans. What, what, what do you expect from the Titans uh, this year? Um... You know, Will Will Levis does not look good. He does not look good, man. Um, it's kind of hard to watch. Not gonna lie. Uh, so you know, but 
you know what I, what what can they really do uh it, they're definitely going to have to play out this season and see what happens but y'all let me know man y'all let me know how y'all feel about the Titans feel about the Packers uh how do you feel about Malik Willis uh and his performance uh and who had the standout performance if you had to pick a standout performance by any particular player in this game let me know in the comments section as always like comment and subscribe don't forget that 75k giveaway until next time, peace.